Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, as we travel back in time and into an alternate universe. <clears throat> We're going to begin the first of three separate eras that I'll be running. This one running from 1950 to 1978. The CCW, or Canadian Championship Wrestling Era. What we're, what we're going to do is we're going to take a a year at a time, or a, sorry, a month for each era while I'm prepping the next era. So as I prep, as I run matches in the 1950 era, I will be prepping the 1979 era, and then the era that will begin September 1st, 2014 as well. What is this? This is the WWCA, my creation, but an alternate universe using the WWE 2K game to simulate the matches. Now, as you can see in front of you, there's a tournament laid out. It is a tournament to crown the very first ever Canadian heavyweight champion for the Ottawa Territory, or Ottawa area, as it would have been known then. There was no official initials in 1950, but it was the company that would become the CCW, or Canadian Championship Wrestling. No, you cannot look it up and Google it. This is not real. This is all in the mind of Vinnie Vincent. However, there will be some real wrestlers used, as you can see, Whipper Billy Watson, Wild Bill Longson, Al Mills, and Sky High Lee were actual wrestlers in the era. <clears throat> we begin, we go back to January 6th, 1950, the television debut of Canadian Wrestling from Ottawa, with a first match in the tournament Baron Horstmuller versus Whipper Billy Watson. Enjoy. I'll give you a little information on the wrestlers while it's loading. Whipper Billy Watson was a, a star of pro wrestling in the 1940s and 1950s. Born June 25th, 1915, Canadian professional wrestler Whippy, Whipper Billy Watson, a two-time world heavyweight champion. from East York, Ontario. The following contest is a championship first round match. Making his way to the ring from Berlin, Germany, weighing in at 232 pounds, Baron Horst Miller. Baron Horst Miller from Berlin, Germany, an ex-Nazi German who came to Canada to try and claim dominance in the world of professional wrestling. <clears throat> Not taking the loss in World War II without revenge on his mind for anybody that was a member of the Allied Forces. Obviously a despicable human being. We're here in Ottawa, Ontario, ready for this first round matchup in the tournament to claim crown a new opponent, Canadian champion. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 206 pounds, the prestigious European heavyweight champion, Billy Watson, champion. Whipper Billy Watson from from East York, Ontario, came into this match on January 6, 1950 as the British Empire Heavyweight Champion. The NWA British Empire Heavyweight Champion, version used in exclusively in the Toronto area. And as you'll see always in the WWCA and its predecessor CCW, anybody who holds a belt in another company is allowed to bring it and wear it on to our television. He won this belt on November 17th, 1949 from Yvonne Robert. Going into this match, he's been champion since then. It was in Toronto, Ontario. 
this should be an interesting matchup to say the least as you got a fan favorite in Watson against a villain in Baron Horst Mueller Mueller going right outside the ring right away he's going to make Watson think about it oh with a dirty shot as Watson was trying to figure out what was going on <clears throat> remember only winners will advance Watson slammed into the, the ring apron and then thrown back in the ring by Mueller. Mueller with an early advantage. Stomps on the calf and now the back of whipper Billy Watson. Watson catches him though. Corkscrew leg takedown. And Watson going for, nope, nope. He's actually gonna go for an arm bar. Oh, and he grapevines a leg too. He's got Mueller in two separate holds at the same time. Mueller's able to get his leg free. And then works his arm out. Whips Watson in, duck down. And some illegal dirty right hands. But Watson, not one to be messed with. Close line to the back. Dragging Mueller into the center of the ring. Gonna roll him over and attempt to pin cover. Mueller kicks out before even a one count. Uppercut. Snap suplex on Watson. Mueller stomps on his arm. Drags him into the center of the ring. Drops the right hand right across Watson's forehead. And now he's going to go for a an arm bar of some kind, but Watson fighting out. Missing with a chop. Buddy hits the double slap. <coughs> Mueller with a neck breaker. Ooh, slamming Watson. Back into the mat. But Watson fights back out of it. Both these men, and along with the other six, want to be crowned the first ever Canadian heavyweight champion here in Ottawa. <clears throat> Watson kind of missing with some wild punches. Roll up, victory roll, going for the cover. One, two, and Mueller is able to grab the tights and get out. Two, Watson gets out, another reversal. One, but this time Mueller's in the ropes. Now they're gonna go back and forth. Mueller slams Watson's head face first into the mat. Neither man willing to give ground. Mueller going for a pile driver by the looks of it. Carrying him toward the buckle and throws him back first into the corner. Now Mueller just dragging Watson across the ring. He's going to throw him outside of the ring. And then throws him back in with a beal. Watson with, a, with an arm drag. Mueller gets out of that one. Leg trip takedown. And planting Watson head first in the ring once again. It's got to take its toll on the former champ. Drops a fist. And Mueller showing the fans what he can do to the former world champion, Whipper Billy Watson. Raising his arm, arguing with the fans, taking a lot of time out of what he should be doing. And that's going after Watson, who's getting back to his feet. Nails the short clothesline. Goes for the cover. One. Two. And Watson kicks out, but he is bleeding. He is bleeding from the forehead, folks. Watson blocks the headbutt. Sweeps the leg, takes him down, setting up for a grapevine. Step over toe hold. Trying to get a submission, but he can't. Goes for the cover now. One, two, Mueller kicks out. Both of these men want that title. 
Watson would love to have a championship in, in different territories. <clears throat> went for the cover. Mueller went to kick out, and Watson quickly great arm, grapevined his arm into an arm bar. Mueller fights out of it, though. The wear and tear on his arm has got to be killing him, though. Ooh, a backbreaker from the German. We might have a riot here in Ottawa if Mueller gets the win. Coming off with a flying kick to the face. We don't know a lot of the names for these moves in 1950. Once again, sir, we're planting Watson head first into the ring. Goes for the cover. Two and three. And ladies and gentlemen, the evil German Nazi has advanced. Baron Horst Mueller. History has been changed as in the real life version. Whipper Billy Watson, well, real life. <laughs> the original writing, Whipper Billy Watson advanced. So if you like what you see from the, this alternate universe of the WWCA, click like subscribe and stay tuned also whipper billy watson is available to download on the ps4 now that baron horst mueller has aired if anybody wants them for their ps4 games comment down below and i will get them up with the catch that you must give credit where credit's due to my original creations ladies and gentlemen baron horst mueller advances <clears throat> in the tournament to crown a first ever Ottawa's Canadian heavyweight champion. The next match <coughs> will feature Wild Bill Longston against Wallace Montgomery. Until then, stay tuned for more action on the Vinny X Wolf channel. Make sure you subscribe. I'm Vinny Vincent.